What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Calibria, I'm presenting to you guys a guide on Angel of Date for shortcut AOD. See, it's provided for free for everyone whenever you are starting uh, this game of Calibria. So rejoice guys because C is pretty awesome. And now let's actually discuss like why C is really awesome, okay? So let's start with her skills, okay? First of all guys, when we are actually gonna talk about her skills, Let's start with her passive skill or let's say the chase, okay? What it actually does that like and receive a bonus attack after killing an enemy, okay? So as soon as she managed to land a fatal blow or let's say she actually kills a particular opponent, she will get a, another turn right away. She will get an extra turn right away without waiting for, uh, you know, like all the turn to pass out, okay? So she can actually be uh, one of the amazing farmer in this game right away. No problem at all. She can clear out the contents pretty fast. That's the main uh, capacity of this hero unit, okay? So feel very lucky to get this unit guys she is pretty amazing and she's a four star at unit and that's why also like she is really good farmer okay and when it comes to the leader skill it's also pretty good it can be applied like anywhere all allied heroes crit rate plus 19 percent that's pretty good okay and when you are talking about the second skill cutlass dance what's gonna do is like swing a scythe of the shadows to slash an enemy two times okay so that's a two hit and each attack deals 250 percent of the attack in damage okay so obviously she's based on attack uh she's attack type hero uh more the attack stats she has the more damage she's actually gonna deal so that's pretty insane right and it has a 40% chance to reduce their defense and slow them for two turns. Uh, reducing the defense is always going to be really great. Whether it be a PvE content or the arena contents, okay? It's always going to be great because like if you can just reduce the defense of the opponent, you can deal a massive amount of damage, okay? Especially the boss or let's say in the arena battles, okay? And slow them for two turns, that's pretty good, guys. Pretty good. The next one right over here is the fast skill, sickle, okay? Uh, swing a giant scythe to attack an enemy and deal 370% of attack in damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage, guys. If this skill deals critical damage, 70% chance to affect the target with the HP region lock for two turns. Wow, that's really good. So obviously, she really needs to inflict that critical damage to get this one, which is gonna be pretty amazing, especially for some sort of dungeons where they have pretty much a really good minions, like boss, uh, okay, dungeon boss, or let's say the catacomb boss, okay? I think it belongs to the wind category where it actually tries to replenish its health again and again okay reason and if she can uh, put this debuff on that particular unit then that can be really great guys okay because hp region uh, used by the boss it can really uh, give them a lot of hp boost so you really don't want that to happen okay and this can actually be very very useful at that time but in general case of scenario it's not really that uh, very 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 useful but still it's her bread and butter. You know why? Because of the passive skill, okay? Because it's the first skill that she is gonna spam a lot of time. So obviously, if you really want to, uh, you know, like uh, skill her up, uh, it should be her first skill because obviously her passive skill, it really doesn't have any sort of other, uh, you know, uh, uh, skill upgrades, so that's a really good thing, right? Meaning like you really don't have to uh, spend the skill cats on this one So that's really great uh, for the first skill that would be your main priority But well, it's a uh, random stuff But try to max it out ASAP and this will really help you to deal a lot of damage and obviously you can get more turns Really fast and she can actually be a really great farmer indeed She can really clear the contents really fast guys and as a beginner. Oh my god. She is a, a blessing Okay, so uh, that's it and done guys, uh, C is pretty great uh, for PvE content, like let's say the normal story contents, the normal chapters and everything like that, C is a must have unit and obviously everybody will, ha ha has her, will have her, okay, whenever they start an account, so that makes it really a very automatic sequence, okay, and C is really great, right, that's what I really love, I love about the uh, Calibria uh, providing us with this kind of like wonderful amazing insane unit guys see it's just really that amazing okay even in the pvp content she is gonna shine really good uh, as long as you can uh, manage to inflict that uh, fatal blow uh, 
try to really pair up with her pair up with uh, like some kind of like other heroes that can uh, initiate the battle in such a way that like they can break the defense of the opponents in an aoe scale that would be just too amazing and any sort of like uh, support uh, heroes that can boost her attack okay and speed like those kind of things that would be really really amazing guys okay try to really pair up pair her up with those kind of uh, that kind of like heroes and she can actually be become, become very 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 effective guys okay now let's go into the rune what sort of rune should you think i should give to her okay first of all obviously it will be the uh attack type okay so if you actually manage to give her like four pieces of attack set it is uh, she will acquire okay she will acquire 35 percent boost in attack okay that is really great and if you get six pieces you will get 15 percent uh enemies uh defense ignore, ignore okay so that is really great guys it's a very brand new feature okay that is provided right over here compared to the summoner swap this is just really amazing 15% enemies death ignore wow that's really great guys that's what i really want to have around really amazing guys okay and the next one is that like you can also pair up your attack set with the wild set as well it's really if you really want to get some crit rate but obviously as you keep on progressing through okay i think the wild uh, this rune set is not going to be really that effective uh, you, because you can uh, already you know like sort of uh, collect all your crit rates from the substats of your runes so while isn't really not gonna be that effective like later on <laughs> okay it starts you can actually side it out so you can purely focus on her attack okay especially if you are a beginner this is gonna be your main uh, main stuff later on if you really are uh, you know like moving towards the end game content then this is the main thing guys okay destruction set uh for four pieces equipped uh she will get a 40 percent increase in critical damage that's pretty good and with six pieces she will get additional 15 percent attack boost wow that's really good guys okay the main uh set that i'm really recommending to you guys obviously the first one being the attack set the next one is the destruction set and you can even go with the berserker set if you really have a lot of very good substats okay and you really want to make her a very good you know like uh, skill spammer then uh, berserker set can actually be really good as well okay this is pretty good four pieces chance for bonus turn plus 22 percent six pieces chance for bonus turn plus eight percent wow a total of 30 percent to get a extra chance wow <laughs> that's insane guys that's insane this is really good okay so uh just in case like let's say she made a blow right and then like she was not able to land a fatal blow but what if she gets another turn just like this and then like in the next turn she was able to kill the enemy so she can still keep on continuing uh you know like to spam it okay so as long as her passive like uh triggers i think this effect will uh you know like reset as well because uh i think whenever you use this one the rate starts to keep on decreasing at obviously at first it's going to be 30 percent maybe the next turn next time it's going to be like 20 percent and 10 percent five percent and something like that okay i think that's the core mechanic right over here at her 30 percent is not going to be like the effect for every turn i guess but if uh, hers uh, you know like passive skill activates like whenever she manages to kill the opponent and a uh, passive skill activates i think that's the point that it will actually reset which is going to be a very advantageous part on our side as well okay so obviously for end game guys berserk destruction is going to be really great if you are a beginner the tax set is going to be re doing really fine as well so that's the thing right out there guys i'm so happy with this one this is really great uh okay if you guys have any other like set recommendation please let me in the comment section below and obviously i will try to relay it to every people out there in the community okay so ah uh, guys okay so now let's talk about the stats what sort of stats are we gonna uh, talk uh, i'm like we need we need to put on this particular amazing unit okay uh, well first slot third slot and the fifth slot obviously you know the uh, primary stats are flat stats no need to worry about that one so okay and the next one is the second slot the fourth slot and the sixth slot now these are the uh, rooms that you really want to be pretty you know wise about okay please try to give them a very uh, proper uh, primary stats so that like it will be very very advantageous to our angel of death so for the second slot guys okay if you are really 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 arena based uh speed stat can actually be pretty good as well but i would really prefer you guys to go with the attack percentage boost okay because um 
in core, she's a farmer, okay? She's a farmer. So higher the attack she has, the more damage she is gonna deal. And like if she managed to uh, bring that fatal blow, then obviously she is gonna get that extra turn right away. So, you know, like I think that is also gonna have, uh, give her a, like, you know, like an indirect type of like, uh, very good speed boost because whenever she kills an opponent she gets a 100% energy right away So that is so good, isn't it? Okay, so attack percentage boost is the best stat that you can give at the primary stat on the second slot where uh, whereas for the like uh, Fourth slot, okay, the fourth rune. Uh, you can go with the critical rate or critical damage, okay. Um, if you are a beginner, critical rate boost is gonna be pretty fine, okay. Uh, because like obviously from substats, it will be very hard for you guys like this one, okay, to collect uh, a lot of crit rate. Especially you would love to have at least 75 to 80 percent of crit rate in order to hit the critical damage in a very uh, frequent, uh, you know, like pattern, okay. So critical rate is gonna be fine when you are a beginner. But later on, if you can stack a lot of critical rate on your substats, then damn guys, critical damage is gonna be the best option right out here, okay? So go for critical damage if you have a lot of critical rate in your substats. Uh, if you really don't have a lot of critical rate in the substats, go with the critical rate in the primary stat on the fourth rune. And finally, finally guys, when you are talking about the sixth slot, okay? So what to actually equip right in here? Go with the attack percentage boost, guys, okay? Attack percentage boost is gonna be the most amazing stat that you can have on the sixth slot. Uh, this will really provide her a lot of attack and obviously, the more the attack she has, the more damage she is gonna deal and damn, she is gonna get more and more frequent turns, okay? And substats, now let's talk about substats. What are the substats that you really want to focus on? First of all guys, go with the speed substat, okay? Try to have speed substats, that's gonna be really great. Another one is critical rate substat, that's also really pretty good. And another is critical damage substat, okay? And finally guys, finally, 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 attack percentage substat, okay? Where is that? Oh my god, I don't seem to have, yeah, attack percentage boost, okay? So, in summary, speed, attack percentage boost, critical rate boost, and critical damage boost. These are the four uh, substats that's gonna make your Angel of Death very, very powerful indeed, okay? So, wow, I mean like, this is pretty much it, guys. I mean like, C is gonna be viable in, like, in nearly every content of the game, okay? Whether it be PvE content and PvP content, but obviously compared to PvP or Arena contents, she's gonna flourish more in the PvE content or let's say in the world content or even in the dungeon contents because the way uh, at which she clears the stuff, okay? And obviously she's gonna be the main crucial farmer for you as soon as you start this game as a beginner she is a very great choice and obviously she being a free character oh my god this is such a huge blessing indeed okay you really don't have to farm for her that's really great and obviously if you really get any sort of like skill cats she is one of the really prominent candidate to get all the skill cats and try to uh skill her uh, first skill right away and the next thing is skill tree okay so uh yes obviously she has other skills as well that we really need to discuss okay so uh, for the second skill, you can switch it with the another <clears throat> second skill uh, branch as well. Let's see what it does. Summon Spears of uh, Darkness to attack two times at random, okay? Two times. Its attack deals 370% of the attack in damage. Uh, reduce target's attack for two turns. That's pretty good as well. Uh, this is going to be really good, especially against the uh, boss battles and uh, in the pvp contents as well okay especially if you really don't want to get a very high amount of damage incoming from a very 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 strong opponent this skill will prioritize attacking two different targets okay so two different targets and two times okay that's pretty good okay uh but i think the normal one is pretty better because like it has a defense break and i think defense break is the best way to go okay so i think i will stick with this one the next one is for the third passive skill instead of just getting an extra turn how about switching on to the another passive skill is this really going to be viable control the battlefield uh, attacks have a trained person drain effect wow this is good like if you really want to survive the battle then this is really great okay at the end of uh on turn 70 percent chance to steal eight percent of all enemies energy Oh my god. Now this is a little bit of like vampirish effect, okay? And she is really trying to stay alive. You really want to make her stay alive, then this is actually gonna be so good, guys. Wow, she is gonna keep on fighting and fighting and fighting. But I think this one, the chase actually uh, really is much better, I think. The chase is much better 
unless you are really trying to fight against those kind of opponents like let's say boss raids or let's say dungeons or catacombs okay in that kind of case guys okay if you really want to survive for a very long battle then this suppress can actually be much better at that time okay because this uh, this default uh, passive skill is only for that case if you manage to uh, defeat an opponent in just one single hit but if you cannot then this uh, passive suppress is going to be much better uh, selection okay uh, so i think this is for the more into like uh, boss fights uh, not for the pvp fights and i'm like yes it can be used in the pvp fight as well but i think it has more utility in the dungeon fights or catacomb fights okay now next one is the tenacity the passive okay the last one okay so let's see what it does toughness uh, is a state of mind okay when taking critical damage 70 percent chance to reduce the damage taken by 60 percent oh my god this is totally a uh, i think pvp skill it's not really that gonna be that useful for the pvp contents even in the like catacombs or any kind of stuff like that i think it's totally a pvp skill a pvp skill and only at that time when you are trying to like survive it's like a survivability skill i really don't know like what uh purpose it's actually gonna like present <laughs> if you guys really know much better please let me know in the comment section below but i really don't see any use to it and i think i'm never ever 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 gonna use this skill because this is sort of type of skill that should belong to a tank class uh, hero unit okay or maybe a defense class hero unit who actually wants to tank a lot of damage in that kind of case this would be much better okay but I think as a tank unit this really does not make that much sense at all okay so pretty much that's it that is it guys see it's pretty awesome try to get her and she is gonna really rock your world guys so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video